Hi, y'all. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't see the chat. I do not have a chat on. Hello, Crescent Moon. Hello, Julie, Sonia, Karen. Hello, hello. We're running late. We just we just finished doing a video and um, went and grabbed something to eat real quick. So you're like real quick scrounging, scrounging. <laughs> real quick. Hello, Sandra. Crescent Moon's here. Sonia, KK, Sandra, Karen. Hello, Karen. Karen Haslam, where are you from again? You just put the state. You put the state abbreviation if you want. The two-letter abbreviation. Then then we can have Tammy guess what it is. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Hello, Terry. Hi, Terry Trahan. Terry, did you get your box? I think it finally said it was shipped. His box stayed in Houston for a week before it went out. Why? I don't know. I'm not the postman, but they had it. Hello, Miss Sugarbridges. Yes, Sonia. I saw my order shipped. Your order shipped? Mm hmm. What order? Oh, did you order Scentsy some Sensi? Heck yeah. Those smell great. Hello, Linda. I ordered two flowers and the car thing. The car. Oh, did you order a car thing for me? No. Yours still smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hello. Julie. We didn't miss anybody. Hello, hey, Linda. Linda. Doris. Um, my message Julie about the label. Hi, hi, hi. How's everyone? Cat Law. Go vintage. Hey, G. Hey, Cat Law. Cindy. Hello. Hello. KP. That's G. It's G. J. Um, G and his big boy toys. Is George here yet? Because George don't know. <laughs> hello, Carol. Hello. Hello. And see, Martha's out of town right now. See, they've been, they're traveling. So, um, KP's Julie, I'll be taking care of that. German doilies. Um, <laughs> I, no, I haven't read the last email that you sent me, though. She's organizing what? Her doilies? Hey, Your Lori. German doilies. <laughs> Hello, Lori. I'm sure Robert's there, too. Hello, Robert. Hi, Lori. Hi, Robert. Oh, okay. Very good. She I thought it would something. be a lot more from where you're at all the way to California. Very good. Okay. Hi, I will I will send you that back. Actually, do I have something for you? Karen is in oh near Riverside. Oh. Who is? Karen Haslam. Oh, Haslam in, near California. Hello, Joan. Okay, so we just did a video a while ago. Uh before we ate, David walked in the door and oh, I was KP, like, KP, KP, we're going to get a way lot, a way lot. A it's going to be a way what? lot. Way lot what? Jokes out of German doilies. <laughs> uh, we just, oh, this dog. We were, David walked in the door. So I was like sitting down. I was just doing a video and I was like, hey, sit down, come join me. And freaking Jack, Jack, he's underneath the table right now and scratching my legs. You wore shorts. Yes. What? Jack, Jack, be nice. Where, Jump on get, him. Get a get a blanket over your legs. I would, what, what, a sheet. Yeah, a sheet. Something that he can't snag. Wait a lot. Yes, yes. You want Snoopy? You want Snoopy? That's Mickey Mouse. Get that blue one right there on top. I said, I said Snoopy. <laughs> I call Mickey Mouse Snoopy, y'all. So y'all can't say, uh, can we see Jack? Come here, boy. Boy, okay, I gotta cover my legs because he's scratching me. And I'm in shorts. Let's get killing my he legs. Learned, he learned one Christmas, one winter song. Ready? A one, a two. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Yeah, by him. Lovely weather for a sleigh together <laughs> with you. He missed people, didn't he? Yeah, you should have seen him going crazy when he went to feed the cats. <laughs> Yeah. 
He's like, look in the crowd. Everybody wants to everyone, see your mug. Everyone wants to see oh, me, Jack. And let me tell you, Miss Karen Williams, if I, she's here yet, uh, she said the dog's starting to look like me. Is he starting to look like me? No. He's got my eyes. You know how the dogs start looking like the owner? Mm -hmm. He's the owner. The Did y'all get like mad whether we that. got he liked that massage. You like that. Lost massage. power this morning. Okay, we lost we lost power yesterday for a short time. We did? Yeah, he was out umpiring and I was in mm. here working and it wasn't very long. But the power went out. Um it didn't rain any today. No, it didn't it was last night. <laughs> Do you yesterday. count today as four in the morning? Because it was rocking and rolling outside. Oh, didn't wake me up at all. Of course it woke david up because you know he's afraid of thunder and lightning thank you so much you're welcome i i was helping wait what was that what did i help you do is it with the memes the memes i help um sugar Bridges do some memes hi george I had to post it george george you got a package coming late <laughs> Miss uh, Miss Martha accidentally put something of yours in Julie's box, and Julie will be sending you something, <laughs> sending it to you. So sorry about that. Lori, go up. Lori, 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 oh. more. Lori. Lori. Yeah, we got bad weather. Lost power this morning on a generator now. Some tornadoes about 30 minutes south of us. Yeah, I thought about y'all. That was a big line of storms. I didn't know there was. We got storm. it around three o'clock, three to five o'clock. But Wait, when quick. did when did they get it though? This morning, early oh, this, this morning. morning. Okay. Did it come that way, or did it come from here that way? No, it came through us like to a straight them. line, like a wall of wind and rain. Bro, what? What's your glitch? What do you want? Get up here. Come on, well, you're welcome. You you're welcome, Miss Sugar Birches. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. I don't know what you want because. <laughs> You want up, and then when I hold you, you want to bite me. Oh. You just want to chill? He just wants to chill up. That, that's how you do it. Blame it on who's not here. Blame it on the rain. He just wants to chill right now. He better chill. I hope he bites you in the chin. He already bit me in my bits. <laughs> my bits and pieces. <laughs> Fortunately, he got all blue jeans. <laughs> I was like, Whoop. Is that why you picked him up? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let me catch up here. And you know what I found out about Jack? He loves bath time. He loves bath time. I'm like, this is not terriers I'm used to. Maybe he's got some lab in him, some Labrador. Who knows? Yes, he's a short lab. He's a short lab. Short hair lab. Ow. He's a chihuahua lab. Okay, you're rolling him up. Ignore him. I got him chill. Look at his he's got his arm draped over my arm. He's chilling out. They're prepared for long term uh, power outage. Do y'all have one of those uh extra devices? What are those devices called that our neighbor has? Generator. Oh, is that a generator? That's a generator. Yeah, it's a generator. It's a gas line generator. Oh, okay. We don't have one of those, but our yeah, we can DNA test him. David checked into it. That's not I cheap. would, but it costs money. I don't. I'm not worried about it. We Pay love our face. mutts. I love mutts. See, yeah, he's I love a mutt. Mutts. Yeah. <laughs> They're fine. Hi, Jen Fizz. Hello, hello. Fuzzy. What? What internet are you on? I don't know. How do I we know? See. No, no, no. That one? Yeah, no. No. Last one. That, that one. one. Um. That's why. Go to Tam Tam. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm hold switching. Hold on, y'all. We're switching. It worked just fine earlier. And voila, we're back. Right? Yep. Yeah. See if that's any better. Boom. I hate I have to get up all up in the camera to see. I can't say with, see with them or without them. Oh, oh, Elizabeth called us low res. <laughs> <laughs> the 
we just oh i need a t-shirt that says i'm just low res <laughs> i look low res now i'm gonna put looking low res mardi gras 2025. hello frida hello hello is robert not here lori i see you but i haven't seen him yet robert, sorry, barbecue it. He's fixing with the storm broke. Okay. Hello, Carrie Ann. Hello, hello. <laughs> we can see your nose hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming around the mountain when he comes. What panther? What panther, Sugar Bridges? What, what oh. panther? Yeah, I saw the we saw the I don't have my phone. I took some shots. Are y'all friends with me on Instagram? I did um I did do a post on Instagram. My daughter and David, they were they worked together, so they got to be together. <laughs> and then he FaceTimed me to watch it and he's like, just go outside. <laughs> so I finally got up and went outside and looked. And I rushed, rushed home. I was speeding. Traffic was light because everyone stayed home. I went out of town for the eclipse. And and I wanted to share it with her. I wanted to make sure she had it. So I brought my glasses so she could see it. I saw it just fine when I put my phone up. I went out there and I videoed some of it. But I could see it through my phone without having the shade. And I'll just sit there and hold the phone like this and look. I was being facetious. <laughs> facetious. I have a couple of panthers. Little panthers. <coughs> okay. He needs his own little chair right here. <laughs> Jack is camera hungry. He wants to be on camera. Come on. Are y'all bringing any German jewelries? We got German, German, got a German tin. I don't know if the <laughs> internet is ready for more German doilies, to be honest with you. Now, we have to really go into fleas to find those flea markets and stuff, um, big ones. Bunny dye? You're missing bunny dye? You sell bunny dye? You have my bunny dye too. <laughs> she had a uh, those little bunnies right there. She had the uh, the tops, but not the bottoms. And she was asking, "What are these? Does anybody know?" And you people, knew immediately. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, but people had already answered her, so I sent her a picture of mine. It's like I have them. The little skinny glass jar. Well, how much money are they worth, Sugar Bridges? How much are they worth to you? And I didn't bring them up for Easter because I was going to list them, and I never did list them. But I have a set of four, the green and red. But they're Rock pretty cool. Jackie, oh, the Classic on top. top buddy ears. I'm seeing a lot of my shit. There, you said. Rock what? Up. Okay. You better list those on eBay for me. I'm trying to put the baby. <laughs> put the baby in. Mm -hmm. Ready? Really? I made up a song. Rock Ow. Bye, Jackie. Oh, Hello, Robert. Hi. Now he's here. Hi, Robert. Sorry, you're running on generator, Robert. I'm not laughing at you. Says Jack is being cray cray. Why are you cray cray, Jack? I got I got vintage radios, but they don't work. I got some old ones. I got a one sitting down there with the plug and everything. Actually, I haven't tried to plug it in. I told David to. I didn't want I didn't want to be shocked. <laughs> She's trying to cash in that insurance policy real quick. <laughs> or in package. Jack, you well, boo -boo. in package. Okay. So I almost have to cut mine in half. So we got what you're saying is that we need to make a package. <laughs> Wait, we mail it in a package. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Interesting. That's what, Jack? I, I know I looked him up once, but so neat. Wait, you want to bite me? You want me to pick you up and you want to bite me? Go that right. 
you need to get him those tall stools for pups. There's tall stools for pups. I think he's been researching everything for this child. I know there's soft stool for pups. <laughs> get it? Soft stool. Poopy. Look at him biting. <laughs> uh, yeah, he needs a little chair. I don't know. He'll be a uh, biting nah. it, picking at us more. Nah, you nah. Should, wait until you see the video. He he disrupts everything. So. Jack. Boy. I'm going to knock you out. Um, okay. We're going to get ready. We're going to get ready. You're teasing him. <laughs> and he's going to bite you because you're closer. <laughs> um, he has oh cute clothes. He has toys everywhere. Here, Here's a carrot right here. And among other things. Oh, today he was uh, freaking out in here while I was working, and um, he's underneath the table hitting my feet and backing up and running in there into the, you know, my inventory room. And then so I started videoing him, and I'm like, what is he doing? He's barking at something, and he started barking. He wouldn't, he wouldn't go over there. He was seeing something in the room right here. <laughs> so I got up and picked him up and carried him over there, and he's having a panic attack in my arms, wanting down. So I set him down right there, and he turned around and took off back over this way. Who was it? I don't know. I never saw. I wanted him to show me. He never showed me. I don't My know husband was upset when I got a dog, so I went out and bought matching outfits for him and the dog. <laughs> I love it. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm drinking my out of my vintage little cup he broke one of my vintage cups um but i'm drinking tea tell the whole story i'm drinking tea tell the whole story look it was sitting on the end table next to the couch he climbed up on the couch and got on the end table Where, and knocked over that? my glass i wasn't there how long was the glass there? i don't know hours mm -hmm. put your dishes up uh-oh he's gonna go put him away if he puts him in the cage, he's going to start screaming. I don't know if he is or not. Yeah, that's what I said. I think Jack Jack saw something out there. I don't know why. We've only lived in this house. So, I don't know why. what's being haunted. Unless he sees one of the old animals that used to live here haunting the place. Or, yeah, the mirror. I do have a mirror over there. You know what? I do have a long um, length mirror. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, Carrie. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. I And I don't know why he's never seen it before. And then after we were out of here for a little while and came back in, he stopped. It didn't bother him no more. So maybe that's what it was. Karen ordered her wine from Walmart. Hello, Urban Cowboy. Hello, hello. Howdy. Howdy, Irving Cowboy. What did you do with him? Did you put him in his cage? No. Okay. I fed him some, some meat meat snacks. Oh, okay. Well, he'll be getting up again to let and him go. And a bunch of toys. Uh, I heard the word haunting, <laughs> but that I had to show oh, you the video. Speaking of haunting, boo. I don't know if that's haunting or just scaring. Okay, you ready? You ready to get started? <gasps> Let's get started. This reminds me of this reminds me of our first Halloween town. Does it? Why? The way you dressed up that way. Yeah, I don't think so. I do not think so. Okay, we're fixing to get started. I am scared, Karen. <laughs> what we start at? The uh, ten dollars. Choice. Choice. We have um, magazines. Some of them bought some of these from my haul. So um, here is what's left. We have Rockefeller and Kennedy Life magazines. This is um, okay. Rock. That's all you get is Rockefeller and Kennedy. That's Jane Fonda. 
Oh, Jay Fonda. That's Barbarella. The outfit he thinks I wore on our first um, Halloween. Yeah, I don't think so. Jane, Jane Fonda, little girl. Little girl Jane. Fonda's little girl Jane. Man, I just totally mashed that up. This is from 1968. Tammy's worried about Rockefeller and Kennedy when all of her <laughs> is right here. This is from March 1968, the week of March 29th. Here's January. And that's how I feel after lunch, trying to get that jacket button. <laughs> Look at the Bonneville advertisement. This may take a while. Oops, that's not a Bonneville. That's not a Bonneville. There's the Bonneville. But here we're going to show more. Uh, Faye yeah, Dunaway. Yeah, that's Barbarella. In the 30s. She is doing the Bonnie fashion. Is that supposed to be Bonnie and Clyde? That Bonnie fashion. This is in um, January 1968. Life magazine. Can we show this on the internet? What is it? It's she is uh is she the one that played um mommy dears? Yes. Mommy dears with my mom. <laughs> what? Oh we can't show that. Eric, here we go, Eric. Here's some toilet time watching. Okay, so this one. So we have Barbarella. We have, oh, yeah. <laughs> Faye Dunaway. The Western. Grammar may want that one. The Western. What year is this one? Who is this man, it says? March 62. 62. Okay. 62. 1962. Look, they always had cigarettes on the on the back. Do they? Oh no, nope. we have Coca-Cola on the back of that one. And Coca-Cola. So two have Coca-Cola and two are cigarettes. And the greatest. I am the greatest. The Western, the legend. October twenty third, nineteen seventy. The hero. So, oh, this one's Look. The first three are Life, and this one's Look magazine. So. Lurk. Lurk, lurk, lurk. Lurk. But we can. I know it, it's really hard to flip through all these when I'm showing this many. She knows it's hard. More than 7 million concern. Um, okay. And so there's four magazines here. Four magazines, if you're interested, they're here. Oh, in my mouth. Charger. There. Let's frame that. Here you go, Tam Tam. All righty. I like the old magazines. I found one from 69. I'm keeping that one because that's the year I was born. So I wanted to look through it. <laughs> What's next, Tam? Oh, this. The um, book is better than the movie for Mommy Dearest? Really? Eh. Well, Camp Tam's lived it, so. <laughs> yeah. What's um, the starting at? This is at $5. Five. So, I don't know what you call this. It's a thick cardboard piece. It does have a calendar on it. It's so sweet. There's your calendar. 1940 calendar. And the first page is a little bit loose. Be careful, Tom Town. It's a strange calendar. See that? 
but all the months are there and it's a little pocket it has a little pocket so you can hang this up and just slide your mail in it but look at the sweet picture <clears throat> It is 16 inches tall. Isn't that adorable? 10 inches wide. So it's a nice little she wants ephemera. A, she wants a biscuit. <laughs> and it's got texture to it. It's a, I love that. I had to have it. A, um, what do you call it? An advertisement piece. Yes, it's French. <clears throat> it is. A, but it has, and it will have use because you can drop your, um, mail or it's got a pocket on it and you did, you can do something with it so cute okay put that with life all right <clears throat> We're have, a, have a bowl of life <laughs> life the cure for the common breakfast Here yeah. next we have a little trinket dish. Let me take this off. Oh, do I have tape on it still? Why is no one ready? The tape is on there to keep the lid from falling falling off. Carol? Carol, are you in on the the uh, board? Let's count it down for Carol. Who's first, Tim? You. Man, let's count this down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, it's a long lag. Yeah, that is a long lag. I don't like bragging about my legs, Sam. <laughs> this is a family show. I guess I can take this <clears throat> off my legs now. Since yeah, you can take it off. Unless you get chili. chili. Thank you, ma'am. Chili in Texas? I don't think that. Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate that. You're going to love it. It's so adorable. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. I And Carol, I did get your message as well for that other thing. Well, I yeah. did email you back. For the other thing. Okay, Pitts and Floyd. Pitts and Floyd, Pitts and Floyd. What is this, Tam Tam? A little trinket dish. It's you unzip it dish. to get in it. It's a trinket dish. It's, it's way cool. Go ahead. I was going to measure it. It's good. Thank you, Tam. So with the little man flying in the wind... It's three and a half inches. The trinket box itself is three inches, so the legs are a half inch long. There's what your top looks like. Here's the inside of the jar lid. Did you put the start in there? Oops, no. Got it. Here's the bowl. I tried to do the starts, but he won't let me. Pitts Floyd. Japan. It's a cute little trinket dish. Put your rubber bands in and put your uh or safety pins in or you know. Zippers. Stuff, stuff like that. Two Got green polka dot shirt on. We will bring him back. False eyelashes. Yep. All of that. All of it. 
Okay, the next item we have is we a pin here. Oh, I think this needs a belt. A belt. I think we need a belt here from um, your false eyelashes. Yes, yes, yes. Coasters. The coasters. These little ceramic or porcelain coasters. I don't know. They have stickers on the bottom, but they're faded. I cannot read them. I don't have anything. Oh, there it is. See? Japan. It no, just it marked says, Japan. Okay. So a sticker marked Japan. A little silver floor. Silver foil. Silver foil. Oh, the sticker. Yeah, this sticker yeah. is a silver foil. Oh my God! What is so we're getting work? ready for spring and summer picnics. So these would be nice. You get a set of five. Set of five. For these Japanese coasters. This is uh, transfer wear. It's not hand painted, which is not typical for Japanese. But it's transfer wear. Looks like some of the gold gilding is coming off. That's actually applied, not not transfer. I can't even get into my own thing. No. There it goes. No flea bites or chips, just some minor, minor paint loss. Very pretty. It's my glass. So, those, the real older ones are about this wide around. This is a skinny, tall glass. But those fit. Ceramic or... Porcelain? Porcelain, yeah. They're porcelain. Clean that one. Yeah, do that too. Use the coasters on the top of your glass. Keep those North Carolina oh, bugs yeah, out. Oh, yeah, that's what you do when you take it outside to use. <laughs> mm -hmm. Try it on the top. Nice. Nice. <laughs> True that. So you need double. So you can put it on the bottom, one on top. There I you go. Take, I take an aspirin to act like I have a headache. <laughs> Works like a charm. Not now, Tammy. I have a headache. <laughs> okay, Davis. Hey, I make a pretty ass at you. Anyways, try putting in. Okay, we're going to the next one. Uh, I'm blurry now. From um, we're moving right along. What, from blinking your eyes. Uh, no, for, for ten. For being sexy, and I know it. This is going to start at ten. It's a little spooner. They're, Spooners. They're spooning. They're, they're it's, spooning. It's about five and a half one way and six inches long the other way, and it's got some crazing. But it's a little cute, cute little piece. I should have brought a spoon. Look, it has a high lip to lay your spoon on. But look at the crazing. Here. Oh, you got a knife? <laughs> <laughs> See the crazing on it? <laughs> Tam Tam says, praise the Lord. Thank you. David's got a headache. <laughs> hmm. Spooner, there is no marks. Marks are a maker model on here. So, just a cute little heart shape at not, that. Not funny, cat Law. <laughs> I don't think guys ever believe in them getting a headache. They don't. I don't think they would even care. But a cute little faces. And then they got these little uh, dots that are raised a little bit, so the spoon is not drips a little bit. <laughs> so just a fun little piece. Uh, I have an orange one on my stove. 
Not like that. Uh, no, but it's just orange. But I do have a spooner. It's MCM. Yeah. It's cute. This would be good to put with a, a Valentine's uh, set together. Our anniversary thing together or something like that it would be fun, fun. It's cute. <laughs> it's different. Just a little bit. Funny. Just or if you're cooking for Valentine's, use it. You can or your anniversary or your staycation anniversary. Would this be weird if you're setting it on the table for, you know, when you have lots of dishes out and instead of leaving the spoon, especially if there's a, I mean, a lid for the pot, you want to take the spoon out and set it on something. Would this be weird on your Thanksgiving table? No. Karen <laughs> says, it's only not funny when it's true. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pass this one. And I know you're lagging because I'm watching. I, I got it on my phone and it's really lagging. So, uh, okay, so I'm going to go on to the next one. We'll bring that one back later. Okay, I have this cute little box. Ooh, now, my hair is curly in the back. Too, it's a five by five box and it sits four inches tall. It's a. I say a jewelry box, a little cute little decoupage, like somebody put it together, made it a long time ago with this lace and everything and these cute little decor on it. Look at that little mouse. Got hinges on the back. So we got a mouse with flowers, a sheep with a flower, and an elephant with a flower. And then there's a flower on top. And then it has your little... The little transfers. Yeah, like they're decoupage on or yeah. something. Um, the little latch. And then there's a mirror on the inside. And look at that flower power. George wants the inside. <laughs> Me too. I want the inside. Uh, I'm a, your cast is going to be lying that way. <laughs> that, yeah, do that. No, if no. nothing else, do uh, my some vintage flower sheets I in miss, there as I well. I miss you already, <laughs> I miss you already. Oh, I'm tearing up. <laughs> oh, yeah. After what you said, you're going to bid me off. So, cute little uh, trinket box. Um, I say a jewelry box or something they can, for a little girl, and they can put all their little hair bows and stuff like that. Now, with that being said, there's a little hose right here. What? <laughs> Inside? Hose. That's a mouse. That ain't no hoe. <laughs> And but it don't go all the way through, it's up high. And the uh, so I thought, was this a box purse at one time? And it does have little feeties on it, you know, the little footing. But it's it's super cute and it's kind of a fat, a five by five box, you know, fat little purse. If it were, if it had handles on it, I don't does it know. Go all the way through? No, it don't go all the way through because you can't see the okay. You can't see the hose because the the lining stops like a half inch in. Mm. And this is way up higher. So the lining stops right here. So I think it could have been perhaps, yeah, handles. Could have been handles. Hi, Ginger. Hello, Ginger. But I think it would be an adorable little box for um, a little girl's room or a year room. If you, you know, if you have it all dressed up like this. Um Put it in your bathroom and put all your hair bows, your clippies, you know. I always got tons of them sitting on the kitchen. I mean kitchen, the bathroom sink. But I have a little tray with bows in it with all of its stuff sitting on it. But anyhow, we have this starting. Playing at cards, 10. your favorite card game. Throw it in there. Your favorite card game. Yeah. This would hold cards. It would. You could line them up. Being electrocuted. Sideways. Being electrocuted, okay. Okay, so we're gonna go next. Wait, is it ten? Is no. the next one ten? It is. What is this? Eighteen. Frog. Is that twelve or eighteen? Frog. Oh, this. Right. Is that the no, frog? No, I think it's this frog. Oh. I just love these. Now, my mom had one, and it had a wide mouth curve, and I have hers. 
I think I had one like this, but my niece got that one. I gave it to my niece. We had one like this. Now, there's a lot of these out there, and they're a lot higher than $18. But this one was so cute. Some of them look weird. But it has all these little eyelashes batting at you. It's a little sponge holder. And look, crossing his arms, little black toes, and it's green speckled. Super cute. Very 70s. But I don't mind keeping him either. Because mine, the other one I have is orange, so this green one would sit really cute next to it. <laughs> but it's a sponge holder. It's supposed to hold a sponge. <laughs> they're 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 looking on one of the pages of the Tin Tan Dictionary. <laughs> wow, what did that say? For the fat hole box. <laughs> did I say fat hole box? Did I say that? <laughs> uh, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> But I love the batting eyelashes. It's super cute. This is me. I sit here and hold my belly too. <laughs> Hide that belly. You like my batting eyelashes? <laughs> yeah. Owls, mushrooms, and frogs. Oh, you're saying all my favorites. <laughs> These are so adorable. And they come in so many different colors. These are um, project pieces back in the day. And they would be cute to get maybe the because mine is a little bit taller getting a taller one and i do believe they're even smaller ones oh hey and uh getting you know different sizes it would be very cute and i contemplated on bringing this i was gonna keep it um <laughs> i haven't even pulled out my mom's it's still boxed up so i need to get that out and put it on i will show y'all but i will definitely be keeping heat He's going to eat a Skittle. So we eat. I guess it could be a candy holder too. Little, um, uh, where'd my, oh, or it could be a little succulent holder. That don't look weird, does it? All right, we're going to count it down. <laughs> Who's counting? Okay, y'all. Let's do this countdown. Mm -hmm. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Which one? Wait, was the frog creepy or I was creepy? Which one are you saying was creepy? I love you, Cam. I know he did. I love you, Cam Cam. <laughs> okay, I see George came in at 21 and there's Carol at 22 just before the stop. Hold on. David's three checking it. Carol, 22. Carol, you got it at 22. Sorry, George. It is cute. Like I said, I almost kept it. I think we're going to have to put uh, Carol up there with us um, between me, you, and Kevin, uh, Karen. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, George, for bidding. Thank you both. All right, this little vase David found. It was very different. I don't know anything about it. Ooh. I could not find anything on it. I'm going to let you put the start in. It's so cute. It's art. It is an art glass base. It could be a rain gauge. It could be a bud oh, base. Oh, a rain gauge. But where are you going to set it? I guess on your little picnic table outside? Uh, no, the cats would knock that down. Okay, you set a rain gauge. How are you going to put it out? You put, it, put it where the rain can get to it. <laughs> okay, my way wasn't involving the rain. But you have to measure how much rain you get. <laughs> yeah, there's no measurements on it. But yeah, it's like a little tube. Just think of all the possibilities. A bud vase. An right? inch wide tube that stands six, what did I just say? A shot glass. Six inches tall. And it's art glass. Clear the banner, Sam. I thought I just hit that. What's the start? Six. It's very cool. Very interesting. See how thin the uh, 
the little vases. Cute, cute. Very cute. It's glass. It's all glass. Yeah. 100% glass. It's got some bubbling in there, so it's been blown. Just very cute. You get some detail up close. So I couldn't find anything like it. Um, so I, I guess it's, I don't know if it's handmade or not. I, there's no make or model on it at all. So very unique. Very interesting. Have that if you have a little small patio, I mean a small a kitchenette table that would be real cute on there with a single flower in it. Your favorite bud. Mm -hmm. Or if you're going to start growing postatoes, you could start it in this. Postatoes now? Mm -hmm. We have postatoes? Yes. You know who invented those? No. You don't know who invented those? No. You? No. <laughs> Our favorite pharmacist invented postatoes. Oh, that's right. I forgot that. Jeffrey. I know I heard it from somewhere before. Mm -hmm. Somewhere somewhere he used to eat something called postatoes. You can fry them. You can bake them. All right, let's count it down for catwalk. Let me find it. Where? I can find anything here. Vinny's going to do it. Okay, count this down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so. Okay, cat law. Talk. When a typo turns into a joke. That's right. <laughs> All right, Cat Law. Thank you, ma'am. That's yours. You're going to love it. Very unique. It would look good in a window as well because a lot of that clear glass there. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, Ham, and that is so important. I have a choice here. We're going to have two clocks here. Two clocks. They're exact identical clock. But um, but I picked them both up. They are wood, nailed, and I don't know what you call this. I need David to investigate. This is like a vinyl over the wood. Yes, I should investigate the day of the sale. Well, well, wow! You should have came home. Clear right the here. banner. This is a wood clock. Half moon, I guess you can call it. Let me see. The the width of it is seven and a half inches at its longest point, and the tallest point is about five inches tall. So you know what shelf you can put it on. So there's two available, but it is a battery operated clock. What is that quartz, David? This is wood, and it's hand, you know, has these little bitty nails in it. It is battery operated there. The top, this is wood, but this is like a vinyl, 3D vinyl. Um, like embossed vinyl. On the top of it that they carved out and on the top. You see the nails? Do that. You know, let me see. I think they do. I did not test them, but I have batteries right here. Do, 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 Did you just pop that out? I know that's what the hose for.
I think my battery's on. Better hope you didn't reverse it. It's going to blow up in your hand. I see the little pointy part. I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to tear it up. Did this you... is fun, y'all. There. You have old batteries? No, it works. It works. It's going backwards. That's yes. Tam Tam. It's going backwards. What is? That's not. Let me see your battery. Oh no! This is this is <laughs> the finest production ever. We spare no expense. No, pause it at first. There you go. Now I'll just slide in. Oh, that's why it was so hard. It works. It both works. The clocks work. The other battery worked because so they're both no, new. I no, just no, put no, them no. in my. The other one didn't work. I it, promise you. I just put it in my thing. I promise you it didn't work. So. All right. Two go. clocks. Do I have to put the thingy on first? And then? We had Jen Fizz at 12. Carol met at 12. Carol's now at 13. They're very KP's cute. memorized. Mesmerized. Yeah. And a lot, I mean, it's got plywood. It's made out of wood. It's real wood. Hand tapped in. I do not know how you got that in there. <laughs> it's like Bob Ross, only with batteries. Just happy little batteries. Happily stay negative. Happily stay positive. I'm still trying to put this thing on here. Let's say polar, op polar opposites. Okay, and that's in at 15. These are choice. These are choice. So there. we'll start to count it down. We already have a 15, Marilyn. So you might be lagging a little bit. I'll count this one down. What'd you do with my other battery? I need that. 10. Goes in my weight machine. 9, 8, 7, 6. Hi, Carrie. 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Set down, Tim. Uh, Carrie at sixteen, Marilyn at sixteen, Carol at seventeen, and Nat I got at seventeen. Marilyn Rutledge at eighteen before the stop. Before Carrie. Marilyn. Is that what you have? Yes. Oh, yes. Now, you yes. want one or two? Well, y'all like that one. I thought they were unique. David at first thought, mm, what are you getting those for? They're not old. I said, I but they're different. Them. They're cute. I like those. I never saw them, Tim. Oh, you never saw them? No. No. Yeah, I showed you at the place when I was picking them up. Uh, Marilyn wants one. So, we'll have... Carol was next at 17 before the stop, right? Is that what you have? 17? Carol. I, Carol. Carrie came in at 18, but after the stop, so. So that be Carol. Carol, do you want one? The other one? Okay. You got it. Thanks, everyone who bid. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Let me write this down. Sorry, Carrie. Got to get in. Uh, what am I doing? I'm turning the banner. And hello, Marilyn. Congrats to both of y'all. Thank you, everyone. Lurking in the lurker lounge. 
Let's see. Next start. Yeah, I never know it's going to come up on the sale. Um, metal. The metal ball. Ooh. Okay. Did we figure this out? Yes, it was Department. What's it called? Department 56? De That's the full, yeah, full name Department of it? Yeah, Department 56. It's a potpourri ball, right? Yes, I, that's what we gathered. It's a potpourri ball by Department 56, five by five by five. It's it's spherical, y'all. It's a spear. And it has a little closure on here. If you want closure, you just do that. <laughs> Single hinged. No, it's not the little ball from Star Wars that goes. I'll let him play. Look how she drinks and rolls her eyes. So talented. He said I. He said I. And what is this metal called? Um, like a metal, like metallic metal. Like a silver plated or? Um, yeah, it's not silver though. No, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but you know. It's not tin, it's not real thin, but it's not thick metal. Yeah, you do have to polish it because it will tarnish. See how has a slight <laughs> discoloration. Karen, oh. control control your friends in the lurker lounge. It will polish. Yeah, put some incense in there. It's, oh, make it a smoking bowl <laughs> when you when you sling it around. Hi, kids in Texas. Can't chat right now, but I've got you playing on the back room TV, so you get ad revenue. Have a great show. Well, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. From the old curiosity shop. And hello, proud American. And every once in a while, I'll go by there. Every once in a while? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, George is in at 10. I'll get it <laughs> closed for a design. I know I've been moving it around too much i do i think it, it was pretty cool it caught my eye I had no idea what it was and i i'm gonna take a chance take a chance take a chance take a chance is that an avid song yeah a what take a chance a what song? take a chance avid avid song avid song <laughs> the little the little closure thingy close it and I wonder if this will shine up more because it's It'll shinier shine. on the inside. It'll shine. There's the top. Hello, Annette. Okay, let's count it down for George. Are you counting it? Do you want me to count it? Where is Scott anyways? Why haven't you gotten He's a working. Scott? No, you haven't gotten a Scott. Uh... Okay, y'all. Let's do this countdown. Mm -hmm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, get a minute, two, three. So scary. <laughs> scary I am. <laughs> Since you're not here for me to scare, I can scare y'all this way. Okay, George, that's yours. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Um, this is a fun little piece. Oh, and I still have it. lid, I mean tape on the lid. It's enamelware. It's like a, you put beans in this. I'm going to ask somebody that cooks. So at the lip, <laughs> at the lip, it's seven inches, <laughs> seven by seven by five. It's gray enamelware. It's got a lid. <laughs> Gray enamelware with the lid. Make a meatloaf in there. So seven or, inches or some. by five inches, and sitting tall with the handle is five inches. Or uh, so seven, banana nut bread. Five and then five. Five. Nice gray color. Five. 
I don't Pretty know how gray. old these are. Reminds Karen of our hospital pan. I'm sorry, Karen, you had to use one of these. <laughs> I bet that, I bet it was cold. Cold <laughs> to the touch. That would be cold. This is cold right now, being in front of the AC. That's right. Well, you said I. You said I. Parquet, parquet, butter. It's not glass, but you can use it for butter glass. A big old slab of butter glass. <laughs> butter glass would fit in there. I mean, uh, yeah. butter. It's a butter tin. It's a butter tin. Looks like a specimen pan. <laughs> a specimen can. You can make it, you can give it to a small child and it can be an instrument. No, let me, no, let me, no. I would love to demonstrate. Okay. I'm going to do a 10 minute rendition of Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Yeah, you're going to be going to heaven if you do that, if you're lucky. Really, Tim, you'll be mad at I'm me? I'm going to knock you out. If I slam this, you'll get Yes, mad I will. Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> Stop. Shall I test you? Anyways, what does this start at? 12. Nobody interested in this as a cooking piece or an instrument. <laughs> Delbert said, have you had butter soup? It's just butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No Delbert's one wants so the gray enamelware pan. He's so funny. <laughs> Okay, speaking of those little children. Is that 12, too? No, 14. Uh, the little children of the world. Now, a lot of these glow, but these do not. They're three and a half inches tall. I don't have my BAM light in here. They don't glow, right? No. These don't glow. I didn't know any... I thought they all glued, glued three and a half inches tall. They're the little praying children. Little Fenton. This one has a sticker on it. I think the sticker was moved because it's hanging off. Oops, sorry, I dropped a little bit. Uh, no, you're you're trying. You're trying to get yelled at. But they're three and a half inches tall, little white. Uh, I don't know. Oh, look, Fenton on the side too. I just noticed that in the light. It says Mark Fenton here. So I have a sticker again. and Mark. Huh? Show it better. Show it better. Yeah, show the Fenton Mark better. I can't. You mean this one? Yeah. It Get in there, Tim. Focus. There, right there. Both of them have the Fenton mark on there. Only one has a sticker. But the little, like, ceramic or something, they're thick. Hi, Bonnie. Hello, Bonnie. Bonnie says she would so eat some butter soup. <laughs> His brother used to eat it straight out of the icebox, the little sticks. Eat it like candy, like a uh, candy bar. I just talked to him today. Did you? <laughs> yeah, we're catching was up he eating, a little bit. Was he eating any butter sticks lately? Marker sticks, yeah. <laughs> Not only would he do this at our house, but if we were visiting somebody, we're like, where's John? I'm like, I bet he's at the refrigerator. Sure enough, there's the refrigerator door open. He's eating a stick of margarine. <laughs> okay, so the Fenton um, Praying Children. Fourteen dollars. Number. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> All right. You sitting up there? Okay, we're gonna pass on those. Oh, I have this. Um, Poor John. Um, pretty little brooch flower. This also is starting at fourteen. I leave it. It's there. It's already there. It's already highlighted. This is. The flower itself is about three inches, three and a half inches wide. And with the stem, it's almost seven inches long. It is a brooch. It is a flower bro brooch. It's that. 
vintage rose ribbon. A rose ribbon, ribbon rose. With. Where is Jeffrey? With hair around it. <laughs> Little fuzzies. And it has the leaves on the top and bottom here. And then here's the uh, the little um, pin to pin it to your shirt. I don't know. Hey, Sky. Do you have another YouTube? Or it's always that one. I thought it said Sky Finds. But it, is this an animal? I don't know. A little fur around the around the rose. What are you laughing at? Mm, don't say it. Davis, no. I, I wish I knew how old this was, though. But it's very cute. I didn't find any like it. Gilbert Attention. says he can make a cool mustache out of that. <laughs> what would the rose be? Your nose? Your rosy nose? She changed her Google name. Oh, I see. For what? For reviews? So, nice vintage uh Corsage. I'm going to assume it's handmade. I'm not sure. Like I said, I couldn't find no maker model on it. Look at that fur. Some little caterpillar is cuddling the rose. <laughs> okay. So no interest in that. We'll put that aside. And I think there's morbid interest in it. Morbid interest. <laughs> And here, the next item, let me move this, is the tin, right? Ooh. Do you want to do choice in tin or just that one? No, just that one. Okay, here. You got this. Is it Greek or is it West Germany? There's no marker makes, but I, when I found it, I've seen people claiming both. But it's an interested little, interesting little tin. Look at this pretty tin. I'm just going to hold it still for all to see. And as soon as I say that, I'll pull it away. <laughs> I'm going to hold it still for all to see. Boom. Take it away. It's five and a half, five, five and a half inches tall. Five and a half. To the hand, to the handle. <laughs> the flowers are raised. They're yeah, not embossed or outbossed. <laughs> new word, new word, new word for out, the dictionary. <laughs> outbossed. <laughs> They're not embossed, they're outbossed. These look fantastic on German doilies. You are correct. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> now she wants to get a, a vintage enamel urinal. urinal? <laughs> Where are you going to put it? In your bathroom? Next to the... <laughs> Yes, outbossed, outbossed. Put that in my dictionary, y'all. <laughs> so it is a hunting tin. You know, just keep talking, Davis. Yeah, I think it's a, it, it's not a tobacco tin because it doesn't have the pad on the top. Oh. But just a nice, nice so tin. So maybe it was candy or cookies. Cookies. It was doggy treats Candy, in there because there's a dog on the front. Puppy treats. With a handsome tin. Not your typical tin. It's a very nice. 
See his out ball. See, can you see it raised? You can feel it. You too can feel it for the bid of thirteen dollars. Just blue tape. Anything Nothing. on the bottom? Just mm -hmm. tampon blue tape. No print. No no maker model. The rose was given her Georgia O'Keefe. He's Georgia O'Keefe. I'll show you my book. <laughs> She's an artist. Oh, okay. I like the handle. I like how the handle's done, though. Very handsome, Tim. Handsome. Okay. He's handsome because he found it. I will count it down. Ten, six, three, <laughs> two and a half, zero. Next is an anchor hawking flower. Frog flower. Frog flower. Flower frog. I said frog flower, didn't I? I did say that backwards. Frog flower. I know it didn't sound right. Got little marks on the but it's cute. You remember those anchor hawking glasses with this? Joan design? wants the tin. The tin? Yeah. Thank you, Joan. Okay, Joan. Thank you. This the anchor hawking. Do I still have them? Did I sell those? I had the rock glasses. Do I still have them? I can't remember if I sold them or not. I've had them forever. Answer her, y'all. Does she still have them? <laughs> y'all know, right? Um, it had the uh, the flower, the green flower on them. I had four rock glasses like this in this design. And I know Martha has this design in the amber look. But I've never seen it in a flower frog. Y'all never seen it like this. I thought this was so cute. Where's my flowers? Come on, flowers. It has a chrome, a chrome top. Nice. See here. And and you gotta dress this baby up. I got another one here. I've got a stick. Do those do those go? Any flower goes, right? <laughs> This one don't want to stick. Look, voila. Look how beautiful. Voila. I love it. So pretty. I don't think it glows. No, I'm just showing this off. Look, it's a party going on. <laughs> it is uh, six, in six inches in width. At, at the largest at six inches going this no, way. No, Joan, thank you. And it's four and a half tall. So beautiful little a flower frog. Look, roses and succulents go well together, don't they? I always thought so. Okay. I always thought we should have a roses and succulent day. He he just shoved these leaves in here. Yes, shoved all the leaves in there. Oh, here, show that. I gotta get the rose leaves out. Ah. Mm, it's a nice your finger. But I don't know, y'all might have seen one before. This is the first time I see it. Well count it down. And not to mention it's green, so I really like that. Count this down for Bonnie. Let's have D count it down. Okay, D, count this down for us. Wait, D, where are you? Why isn't this together? It's time to count it down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boy. Stop shaking things. And Bonnie, Bonnie, you got that. Why, hello, Patricia. Hello, Patricia. Hello, hello. Wonderful of you to join us tonight. Mike, if you were bidding, you're, you're lagging. You came after the stop. Mike, Mike, you don't need the dollar sign. But thank you for bidding. 
And yeah, that's way late. But that was, okay. I like that, Bonnie. I'm glad you got that. Uh, Make sure you're in live chat, not top chat. And every now and then, refresh your browser. Refresh it. Thank you, Bonnie. You got Bonnie on there? Got Bonnie. Bonnie. Got Bonnie. Can you read Joan? You got it? You figured yeah, it out? Yeah. Um, Imperial Ooh. candlesticks. The big, the one, the small ones in the back. Where, where am I? That's what you have. Rachel, we have a pair. Taking a little cheat sheet off here of imperial. Imperial. They're four and a half inches tall. Double holder. Double light. Double light. You can see the blue sticker on there. So we have been collecting a bunch of these um found a place that had a lot of them and just snatched them up because they're so pretty they're so pretty a little dome looks like a bell on the bottom with the little candles i used to have some candles up here i don't know what i did with them what you do with those can candles you used to have up here Tim? i had some little short black ones up here it's hollow. You could put some flowers or something up in here to help decorate it more to match your candles or something. That's what's great. All right. You can even put the um, the pucket. Puck pucket. Is it called pucket? Puck light? You can put a puck light under here to make it a color that you to match your candle sticks. This. Yeah, this is interesting. You can do flowers or light under here and that would make it even pop some more. Very pretty candlesticks. But it's imperial glass. Uh, crocheted lace is what it's called because of the lace, I guess, here. I had David look them all up. Can you see the lights in there? No. Those are little, little fairy lights. Little bitty lights. Boo, can't see him. Well, so much for production, Pam. <laughs> I got like three puck lights over here that all need new batteries. So, but I'm giving you ideas. I'm learning from uh, Martha's uh, ideal book. She, every time she shows something, she's got an idea. I told her she needs to make a book showing all of her stuff and ideas are posted all on Instagram. Do a display of every time. You can do it this way, this way, and this way. Told her that's what she needs to do. She's so good at it. But okay. These would have came in handy for you last night. Uh, it Briefly. wasn't totally dark though outside. It was still light. Yeah, it would have been scary if it was all already this dark. But it wasn't. But it wasn't. Okay, so no interest in the Imperial candlesticks. And then we're gonna put those aside. that together okay and the next thing Beetlejuice the Fenton base you can leave that there what the 20 is this is this what this leave is? that there yeah look it came with flowers so you're gonna get a flower these are um, hand painted. It does glow. Not that you can tell here. Can you see the glow? Y'all see it? It's glowing and it's got a pretty green to it. I wouldn't mind this going in my glowy cabinet. But it's hand painted, uh, signed on the bottom. Betty did this one. Oh, Betsy. Betsy W. 
hand painted Fenton signed by Betty and there's a sticker there Fenton now let's show you the the painting she did that Betsy did you can feel it it's slightly raised So, little flowers on each side has lint on it. I was wiping it down with my baby wipe. But it came with some pink little roses, so you're going to get those too. Came with it, so they need to leave with it. Barney's in at 20. Oh, how tall is this? Did I? It's way tall. Is it way tall? I was going to, I know I wrote it down eight and a half it's an eight and a half inch Fenton and I know these are slightly different sizes okay, we'll here, count here we go man let's count this down ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one Oh, that hat. I love that hat. I love it. I still have that hat. It's the only uh, cute little hat I have. Not true. That I wanted to keep. Because one day I might want to dress up. All right, Bonnie. That's yours. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Karen says I like myself too much. Thank you, Bonnie. What's oh, next, Tam Tam? A little teapot. A little teapot that is short and stout. Now, this is this is starting at 16. One, because... Hi, Karen. Hello, Karen. Karen, the Panther sold already. <laughs> it is... Um, Oh, it, oh, here I have the paper in here. See what that is? It's porcelain china by, wait, is there a flamingo on there? Yes. Made in the U.S. Hello, Mr. L. Page. So it's not the original top, unfortunately. Yeah. So this is the top that it came with. There is another top. It has a beautiful little uh, uh, flamingo on the front. It does have some slight surface creasing. Ever so slightly. But you can still use it as a pot. Show the front under the flamingo. The front, oh, right there. Just right there. But great for a plant uh, bent, a little bamboo plant and what is this probably like a tea holder tea bag holder right I don't know I don't know what this is but a little aluminum piece that came with it, it this is how it came but I this I caught that and I was like oh that's cute that's cute cute <laughs> He's lying, Karen. It didn't sell. I'm just hoarding it. <laughs> Bonnie says, I probably shouldn't be buying auction items as I'm looking at this janky underwear I'm folding right now. <laughs> but the janky stuff is the most comfortable stuff. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> so egg separator. Egg separator. Yeah, they came with it, so it's going with it. I didn't know that. I mean, when uh, I didn't know it's supposed. I guess every teapot has this lid, right? Not necessarily pitchers have lids, but okay, we have. Karen. That'd be a cute planner, though. They really would. Karen's in at sixteen. Karen. So we're, we'll count this down. 
Yeah. Bonnie says at least you have underwear. <laughs> that way, this would look cute with uh, plants in it, I think. Yeah, or I, I was thinking one of those little spiral. The spiral. Well, I only got what I got to use for samples. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's count it down for KK. You gonna count down? Ten. Hey, you guys. Let's do the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, yeah, using it to water plants. That's a good idea, too. Definitely still usable. Okay, Karen K., you're going to get that one. Thank you, ma'am. I love the design on this. Just great design. And, so Karen, cute. you look very beautiful today. So cute. And her pretty little pink necklace. I think it was pink or was it peach? Now I can't remember. She sent you a picture? She was on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> um, all right. David loves talking about these. What is it? The navy bowls. Ooh, navy bowls. What are we starting at? Okay. Are you telling them as a set, right? Yes. See? You see that? The shaving cup. Oh, yeah, right. I, I think it was on for sale. Mm. No, it was. I doubt it. Huh? So, tell the story. I'm sure they Clear heard the banner. What is it? I've mentioned these before. Hand me the hand warmer, Tim. Hi, Minnie. Mini. I think I mentioned these before. Mini. I have a set of these. These are the navel. Yay. What, I got a box? Yeah, yeah and okay. they're all great. Good. <laughs> these are the hand warmers oh, designed by Corning. And she got all that glass, so that was good. Yeah. Designed by Corning for the Navy. And they are virtually shatterproof. Now, let me show you. The character, see how this got bumped around and little chips would come off, but it's never sharp. These were, these were, when, when chips came off, you wouldn't have some sharp razor edge on these. This is not what he's so, starting with. Though. That being said, these are the bowls. First time I found them. Two bowls. Corning. Same material. Same thick, hardy pieces of glass. And like I said, virtually shatterproof. And a lot of people don't know where they're from. So these, I didn't. These go back to the end of World War One, heavily used in World War Two. This is the estate cell where the guy was in the Navy. Remember, he had a lot of uh, paraphernalia from the Navy and uh, paint by number. He had a paint by number ship. Oh, did? It? Uh -huh. I don't remember that. On black velvet. Oh, paint by number. Yeah, it was on like black an anchor, velvet? a big anchor, and something like that. Oh, so that must have been a lot. Yeah, it was a lot of money. But these are, this or is very thick glass. <laughs> very thick. And same material. So you can have a warm bowl of soup or your hot oatmeal or your grits and shrimp. Um, the bowls measure. David already has a set. That's why he's not keeping these. Edge to edge. Five and a half inches. No, I just like the hand warmers. Yeah. But you have the set of bowls too. I do have bowls. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's why you said bring these to a sale. You have a set already. Oh, yeah, they're up there. They're okay. up there. What? I know something you have and you don't. Uh, I just like the hand warmers. But. He has a set of four of the cups. Navy beans. He two. <laughs> Navy bean soup. Exactly. <laughs> so you get two, two bowls. 
Tam Tam did some uh, price price comp research. And yeah, but I tell you, they're not cheap. Now. Yeah. But I got a good deal on them, so I'm passing on to you. I got sticker residue that I didn't get off. So tape. if if you're interested after, just let us know. Just send us an email. But they're great for uh, those that remember these or their grandparents. And you know, sadly, our generation, the greatest generation, Can you who see fought that logo? World War II, those guys are dwindling. But I'm sure these Navy boys remember this. Yeah, this is this is a great and the portion's good too. Look, it fits in my hand, so you you know keeps you from overeating. Would I use this for cereal? No, it's not big enough. <laughs> he would use it for guac dip. Guac, red beans and rice. Something spicy that he can't have a lot of. He would put in this portion. Yeah, but they're cool bowls. This one, these don't have any chips or anything on them um no that's tape that's tape the mugs always had chips and stuff okay so we're going to pass on these by tom brokaw bonnie <laughs> what she's reading the greatest generation i guess the one from tom brokaw oh. then the next one will be the navy cup that he already spoke so much about yeah okay and it is smooth you feel it but no no nicks it doesn't hurt my hand it does not hurt <laughs> you can see it the little nicks in there but these were used they use these oh and what the guy uh the sticker that was on here uh, the guy had, or the person had, shaven mug. It was a shaven mug. David's like, look at this. Read what it says. I was like, yeah, what is it? It's the hand warmer mug from the Navy ship. <laughs> but David has four of these. He don't need no more. So, these, nah. these are... You can put your hottest coffee in here and it's going to feel very toasty to you. They're three and a quarter tall. They are three and a half inches wide. White, How thick is it? White mugs. I don't know that number. It's two lines, people. Two, three lines. Is that three lines or two lines? <laughs> the second line on the measuring stick, on the number stick. Is that two or three lines? I didn't. I couldn't tell in your angle. <laughs> it's one quarter inch thick. One quarter inch. So nice, nice weight corning, designed for the military originally. Has a corning emblem there. Guess I should have showed that. I showed it on the bows. On the bows. Put it up there. So, you see the little man in the center? What is it? What does that middle word say? What's that middle word going across? You don't, don't know. know. You don't know. You only have like 20 of them. You should know what it what it is. You're making me use my glasses. <laughs> Trademark registered. Made in the USA. That's what it says across the yeah. center. In Corning, it's a guy blowing glass. Okay. Right. You ready? Next. Next. Starting at 12. It is your choice. Here. Helen's been doing yard work. Helen needs to get her a man so she don't have to do that. You don't tell work. me choice, but okay. Twelve dollars choice. I love this one. This one's fun. Fun. Yeah, chickens and fun orange. <laughs> That's terry cloth. With three pockets. This one's fun. Look at that. 
Even the pockets are terry cloth. Yeah. I love this one. Love, love, love this one. Look at those apples. Those are fun apples and pears. Ooh, look at them apples. This one I'll put in my kitchen. This has the chickens and chicks. And it fits around me. Yeah. I like this one. Why did I put this one in? Why did I do that? I'm not going to show y'all this one no more. Y'all forgot not about it. What does the sticker say in here? Heater. Jeremy heater. says you can make those from old towels. Yeah, I would think this is probably what it was. Is this hand done? Yeah. I think so. I think it's handmade. And this chickens and chicks and the fence. I, I should have ironed them, huh? I should have pressed them. How pressed them just. Did you press something yesterday? No, that was you. No. Yesterday? Put this on your head. Because you left the iron plugged in. That was you. I did not. You ironed. You were the last one with the iron, not me. There's I north, south, west on here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And all these little chicks. The chicken tent. The chicken coop. Okay, if nobody's interested in these. We have a bed. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Sandra we'll Garcia. Count it down. This is choice. Oh, what am I doing? Brand. What are you doing? Do, 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 do. Okay, count this down. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and sold. Uh, use them. <laughs> Karen wants to know what's an iron. Proud America says he has an iron maybe since 1998. <laughs> All right, Sandra Garcia. Which one would you want? And there you go again, Mike. Behind the stop. Behind the stop. Sandra, which one would you want? The red or the orange? That one. The red one. Mike. Very well. Very well. Mike. Mike. Mike wants the orange one? No, Red. Um, Sandra got it. Right, but Mike may want it. Oh, Sandra got the red one. Mm -hmm. Mike, do you want the orange one? Gar Garcia. Red. He wanted the red. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. Thank you. And I'm sure Tammy would want to keep the yeah. orange one. I might keep the orange one now. Um, I think the Skittles. The, we have this divider okay. dish up. This crystal heavy, heavy weight. I want to see what the... You know, I meant to try to get the uh, a reel done today, and I didn't do it. I want to tell y'all how heavy this is. This is four. You're welcome, Sandra. Thanks point, for betting, Mike. Four point four pounds. This is already a load. This is heavy. Do you have a start on this? Starting at fourteen dollars. This is a beautiful piece divider. Uh, I guess a relish tray. Makeup. It, yeah, you. Let's let's. Silver cufflinks, gold cufflinks, trash cufflinks. Trash. Silk knot cufflinks. 
Mm, okay. Bling bling is I got a I guess a silver realm. I don't know if that's silver plated or what. It has a teardrop backing. What did I find on this? Bow ties. I didn't find the actual uh, make of this one. But beautiful piece, very heavy crystal dish. Can we talk about bow ties? Let's talk about your bow tie. Bow tie. Don't be talking about my bow tie. Karen's going to be right back. Karen had to go party. Oh, you found a man? Oh, my goodness. I'm so proud for you. <laughs> What's your man's name? Man. His name's Man. <laughs> like, Sup, man. How is Man doing? Is he there with you? But lovely. Oh, let me see how long, how how far across this is. It is nine and a half inches across, and it stands. What is that? Two. Two inches. Two inches. About two inches tall. Beautiful divider uh, crystal Jane. dish. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Okay, so nobody's interested in this. Okay, next. We're going to go to the next one. Market. That is heavy, though. Market. Market. Put your number though. Oh. What is that? Candle? The candle this? sticks. Uh huh. Mm. Here, we can do this one next, though. So go ahead and do this one first. We have a cannon. Let's do that one at, start this one at 20. What do you think, Brad? 20? This is a. What is it called? A copper uh, metal, copper metal cannon. What they call it copper tin. Since copper tin. Copper tin because it's so thin. Okay, I, I know it's something like that. I knew be one of these metal words. Uh, this lifts up. It comes off right here. It's a music box. Yes. Oh, yes. It does play music which i find this weird okay the music box says you light up my life how weird is that because it's a cannon oh you boom light, light up <laughs> my life the music box does work i did not put that together like that so the design how's that little those colors, what do you call that? Like oil like can. Air, yeah, an oil can. There you go. Like an iridescent color. Ooh, look down the barrel, y'all. My son. What? No, we. My son had got a lot of cannons um, from his neighbor. And this was one of them. I've already sold a few of them. I had a lot of them. He had a lot of them. But it's a music box. I thought that was strange. A Canon music box. And this is let's very see. unique. Where do I measure it at? From the wheel down. It's about 10 and a half inches long. Helen says, Thanks, guys. He's just a friend. He's so you your man friend. He's you your man friend. Means. Friends with benefits. You know what Helen's saying? <laughs> What? what oh, baby, you, you got what I need, <laughs> but you say he's just a friend, but you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. you if y'all were here in I person, need. he wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> you, you don't think so? No. I never see you act like that with the game. 
ten and a half inches long and seven inches tall when the cannon's pointing up. It's ten and a half inches. <laughs> yeah, see if it's look if it's right in there. <laughs> so, uh, what did I call it again? What's this called? Cannon. A cannon. What what kind of metal is this? Um, uh, copper tin. Copper tin. Copper tin cannon. I don't know what this does. It makes a banging sound. Boom, boom, boom. Off with your head. Okay, so no interest in this. So if you wind it up. Yeah, it works. I winded it up. Well, I mean, will we get a strike if we... I'm trying to barely do it so it won't go on and keep going. Okay. Maybe hold it the it way. Was, there you go. Oh. Oh, it's, there it is. Bonnie Abrams said she settled for half of that. <laughs> <laughs> you light up my life. Um, yeah, it works. Can y'all hear it? It's going to be playing in the background now. All right, I'm gonna put this aside. Put it aside. And I'm gonna be listening to the music. Y'all probably gonna still hear it. It's so those. Come and take it. That's right. Oh no. You don't. You light up my life. Please. You light up my life. You bring me candles. I have a pair of Anchor Hawking Prescott Clear Double Light Candlesticks. Starting at 16 for the pair. Yeah, Elizabeth, you light up my life. <laughs> you... Light up my life. You bring me. Oh, I hear the ocean, Tim. I hear an echo in my voice. Davis, show me. I can hear the eclipse. That hurt my ear, Tim. <laughs> Don't be playing with them. Beautiful They're candles. Five and a half inches tall. Yes. How wide, Tam? On the it's bottom. Seven inches wide. Seven. Long. Seven inches long, y'all. Four yo. inches wide. And again, you can put stuff up in here to color it up. Put stuff up in there with that. So seven when you inches. use it for Christmas, you can put that Christmas tinsel up here. Gold, silver, red, blue, you know, all those pretties. If you didn't do flowers, um, Whatever color you put in here, you can find something to match down here if you wanted to put color in more color. I have candles it. up here. Where are the candles? You did not. I had candles up here. And I thought they used to be underneath here somewhere. I don't never know where anything goes. <laughs> Those are not candles, sir. You can put your Sharpies. <laughs> Sharpie holders. Oh, here's one. The other one's up here. Oh, somewhere. Bonnie. Oh, no. Your friend. I hope she's okay. I have a friend that says she looked at the eclipse without glasses and she lost her hearing. <laughs> Wait, is that possible? <laughs> now, obviously. Yes, Karen. Sharpie holders. I have another candle up here somewhere. I don't know where it rode off to. Jack Jack ate it. He probably did. He probably found it somehow. Jack Jack went to sleep. So, what are these? What brand is this? Oh, Anchor Hawking. Anchor Hawking. Press cut glass. Well, I'll keep that there so I know where that's at. Could you? Light okay, and line. that's the last one. Is that it? We want to go to speed round. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, the metal bookends. 
What metal book is? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, that was the last one. Right? Right? Let's throw in the cookie tin for giggles. This one? What's oh, Doris is at 16. Let's count it down for Doris. Doris, hello, Doris. What, uh. Cookie count it down for Doris. Oh. Count. Ooh, that curly hair, Tam Tam. We gotta cut all this off. It's time to count it down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. What, is this a cookie tin you're talking about? Yes. Ten dollar start on this cookie tin. That is eight and a half by eight and a half. Oh no, by nine. Eight and a half by nine. I thought it was totally square. I love her. Look at her. She's an artiste. She's got her brush. She's painting. She's painting and posing for a portrait. Isn't she lovely? It's got nice rustic looking red. It has hinges. It's got hinges. What? I think a promise I didn't intend to keep fell out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? It's about, uh, what is that, two? Can you imagine, like, a, two inches tall? a wall full of stuff like this? Just lovely. The graphics is pretty good. I don't know the age of that. We've had it a while, but not long enough to make it antique. No. <laughs> I don't know where you got that. He's had this a while. He brought it over from his shop. She's lovely. You put your art supplies in there. I, I like how it lifts up. Maybe small way. brushes. Okay. That's number 25. Yes, that's the last. Oh, 25. 10. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So real quick, you guys, that was the last thing. So y'all know what time it is. What time is it? All right. The first item. Speed round. We have the magazines. Ten dollars choice. We have Muhammad Ali Life magazine. We have Barbarella Life magazine. Look, the Western and Life magazine with oh, oh with uh, Faye Dunaway. And those were ten dollars choice number one. Ten dollars choice number one. Next is the Fitz and Floyd. Thank you, Karen. F Fitz and Floyd trinket dish. Eight dollars number three. Eight dollars number three. Next are the Made in Japan porcelain. Transfer wear, wear coasters. A set of five. Set of five. Twelve dollars, number four. Next, we have the spoon rest. Sp
Spooners couple. Ten dollars, number five. Ten dollars, number five. Pink box. We have the pink box with the transfer or decoupage on it. It is ten dollars, number six. Ten dollars, number six. We have the possible hospital gray hospital. Uh, enamel. enamel box. $12, number 11. $12, number 11. Next, we have the Fenton children. children. $13, number 12. $13, number 12. Then the Vintage flower brooch. It is fourteen dollars, number thirteen. Fourteen dollars, number thirteen. These. Imperial crocheted lace candle set. Twenty dollars, number sixteen. Twenty dollars, number sixteen. The navy corning. Serving bowls. Karen's going to take 16. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, oh, navy bows. For the set, $30, number 19. $30, number 19. Number... One Ali. Thank you, Doris. Thank you, Doris. He's the greatest. I am the greatest. Then we are at the bows, uh, the mug, the navy mug was twenty dollars, number twenty. Oh, <laughs> $20, number 20. $20, number 20. Piece of history, here. Yeah. The divider relish dish, Ooh, I guess. That's heavy. I told you, it's over a little over four pounds. $14, number 22. $14, number 22. Oh, I didn't circle that. Um, the Canon. The Canon was you light up my life. Twenty dollars, number twenty-four. Twenty dollars, number twenty-four. And then the tin can, uh, the tin for the girl, uh, was ten dollars, number twenty-five. Ten dollars, number twenty-five. Hello, Pee Wee. Pyramid glass behind me. Did it what? Glass display behind me. So. No, I haven't brought it to a sell yet i've been hoarding it <laughs> i have a bunch of glass cabinets uh displays i'm gonna boy you're picking that up by the tail no i haven't brought this yet i don't know i don't know I don't know what I want to do with it. If I want to keep it or sell it, and what would I sell it for? Because I don't see that one and that tall. <laughs> I will let you know, Pee Wee. I will let you know. that That's not the only one we have. Oh, in our uh, video we just did today, we have a, another one that's coming out. We had a small square one. It's a terrarium. A terrarium, but it has a door on it, too. But it's yeah. open at the top. Uh, yeah, I have a few of those that we're starting to find them like crazy. Karen says the picture on the tin is from a painting of a self portrait. Mm. Oh, this one, yes. um, um, um. really? I can't, no, 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 no. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, that was everything. All right, I am going to uh, Kiwi make us an offer via email i what is today a oh, wednesday okay so next week what i have my two o'clock uh tuesday sale with miss martha 
we have our next Wednesday sale and I'm doing a drop sale <gasps> with the trusty huckster <gasps> on Thursday next week. Patrick on the 3K. Yeah, I saw that. I need to be the 3K, y'all. Help me get to 3K. Y'all help yeah. me get to, the, I don't just, know, 2300. I'm at 2300 and something. Just share our link with your closest friend, but tell them to watch after so that y'all get the good stuff. <laughs> watch after. Um, so I'll be doing a drop sale. Um, I think I'm going to make it a theme sale. So we'll see. I'm probably going to be bring all my mugs. And that's what I was thinking about doing. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to do a drop sale of mugs eventually anyways. So. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, he might do something else. I'll have you do something. And I'll do my mug drops another day. We'll see. Thank you, KP. We'll see. Thank you, Pee Wee. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Sandra. Good night, Sandra. Thank you, you guys. Well, thank you all for coming and thank staying you, John. with us. I'm going to sing your comments. Take care, all. <laughs> See ya. We so do appreciate long. you guys more than you Farewell. know. Well, I'll speed her saying goodbye. And here come the kids. Bye, all. Bye, you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. If you click that and click that subscribe button and up there, there and click, click, click. Give a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Bye. Bye.